going specifically to vessel number 19, um, yeah. you know, there's that, that beautiful dusty kind of blue color. Then there's also this gold element to, to the work itself. Um, can you talk a little bit about that, the gold? Yeah, absolutely. So what's, what's great and in, in, in a way I would call this a potter's reveal is that, that, that vessel could have been so many things, you know, and it, it could have been a, a matte white or a shiny white, or a, uh, it probably had a little bit of titanium dioxide. So it could have had like some tin brownish ochre in it. And in the last minute, we decided to kind of go over all of those colors, including a white on gold, which is beneath it. We decided to go uh, over those things with this blue on gold in the very last minute. And then in trying to make a seat for it in the, uh, in the gas kiln, we just started wiping those layers. And instead of um, being extremely precise with the wiping, I was kind of hoping to reveal some of that, that stuff, some of those layers, not knowing what the ongo would produce or how it would interact with the layers of shiny glaze beneath. And, and so what happened was like, like, like potters would know, um, the bottom was probably getting whatever residue was from the, the wet towel that I was using, which could have been other glazes. It was, it just became an amalgam on the bottom. And, and so, uh, I think it just reveals the kind of looseness of the studio. And I, I really like that. 